favourite things to do. I find it quite meditative, to tell you the truth. Uh, mind can free flow while you just dig and dig and dig. Of course, the best time to do terraforming is when you've got the best mining cell. One, because it won't get used up on the dirt, on the stone, or whatever. Also, because it's quicker. So, I've probably done it a bit early because this one, uh, this mining cell really did take a little bit extra time. So, let's get down to business. Show you how to tame animals for fun and for profit, so to speak. First thing you want to do is make a taming collar. Pretty simple ingredients. Grab those together. There we go. Uh, you'll, that will unlock the washer. You'll want to make one of those as well. Let's make sure you've got some water on hand for that job. There's a few methods for taming. There's the brute force method. And if this is your thing, I'll just get the taming collar ready. Make sure you've got some healing potions on hand, uh, especially if you're going for tougher beasts. And this is all it takes. You just got to point the taming collar, have it equipped, hanging from your hand, and then when you see the green X, it's not just enough to have them highlighted like so. See, it's highlight, highlight, but it's not a green X, which means it's not going to be effective. Now, I start now, it's not going to do anything. Okay, so you got to get that little green X up, and then you've got to keep the X on until they are tamed. Each animal has uh, a particular duration of time. So the brute force, I'm going to do it on this pixie. The thing is, it aggroes them. And he's immediately going to want to attack me. And I want to try and weather that out myself up, that sort of thing. Now be aware with the pixies, their charge attack will actually knock you into the air and uh, that will lose contact unless you're very skilled with your mouse uh, and keeping it on him. Okay, now I want to click that very fast to stay or to follow because they will walk and they will walk far. So I'll just explain here, we've, we've got your basic uh, tamed animal screen. I'm going to change his name, and that can be whatever you want, call him Fido, really doesn't matter, you don't have to do that, of course, your choice. Here is space to put pet wear on, you'll see here I've picked up a few items from your, you can get them from keepers or treasure chests, uh, I haven't seen them anywhere else, and all you have, you've either got a hat or sort of a bow tie, something like that. Oh, he's giving me a funny face because I put a bow tie on. But he likes that. And there we go, give it a nice one. Fido's got a funny hat and a bow tie to go with it. Okay, just for decorations. This doesn't serve any boost pro uh, possible deletes or anything like that. Uh, just for a little bit of colour. I like those nice little touches the developers put into this game. So many little touches just make it a fun game to play. Okay, so that's what they're for, purely cosmetic. Down here you've got their status, and that will either have food, the washer, or a mining cell, or a thumbs up. And quite simply that is, I'm hungry, or I'm dirty, or give me a tickle, or a scratch, or a pet, whatever you want to call it. That's what the mining cell is about, you just point it at them and hold down the button, and they give a little um, contented wriggle or whatever the particular animation is uh, and the thumbs up just means I'm fine for now and leave me be which is pretty obvious okay over here we've got likes button that's the particular pet's favorite food you can feed them anything you've got they'll eat anything you give them that is actually food mind you uh, but if you give them their favorite food they will give you their special drop and with a pixie, their special drop now, is droppings. Quite literally, pixie droppings. Poop, uh, which you use for fertilizer and farming. So this is good. He's asking for mushrooms, which is great. What you really want are pets that want mushrooms, turnips, cabbages, you know, your basic uh, bread, that sort of thing. If they're asking for chiseled pot pie and fancy recipes, you really got to be thinking, do I want to give them that food for their job? Is it worth the trade-off? Like, I've picked up pieces. I'm looking for them to give me a couple of bits of poo, 
and he's asking for you know culinary excellence no way it's just not a good trade-off I'm not going to do that deal and when that happens when you see look it's not worth keeping him he's asking for too much then just click dismiss what happens when you do that it gives you a are you sure if you are and you click yes he'll just pop out like you killed him he'll leave his little bag of reg just like regular um, when you defeat the mob and you'll just get a regular pickup and he'll be gone uh, and that's the sort of way to deal with that right now I will when you go see he already started wandering before I press stay now where's mine oh there he is at least he's easy to spot with a hat on here we go now I want you to follow me now with the pets they are pretty much indestructible you can lose them if you leave them on wonder they will go far and wide uh, even if you put them in a totally like controlled box or a cage at the moment they are still a bit glitchy the devs know about it they're working on it uh, I read that in the, in the forums but they will escape basically they'll glitch past your walls and uh, I had a few pigs in an enclosure and I thought it was nice to have them wandering about and I came back after exploring and they're all gone they just glitched their way out and just who knows where they were in that particular world could have been biomes away so you don't really want to leave them on wander at this point a couple updates down the road probably be fine see it's getting a little glitchy there already they will follow you you can outpace them and they will just teleport behind you or they'll just run and run and run until I catch up. See, he just teleported. Where is he? There he is. If you go through a teleporter, they'll teleport as well. Uh, I've died, and when I've respawned, they've been sitting right there. Okay. Now, another, me another method for taming. I like this one personally. Right, I've aggroed him. It's, it's coming for me. And this is like I was using in the caves. You gotta make sure he sees you at the bottom of the ladder, otherwise he'll stop following. Ah! Yep, I'm getting a bit unco, that doesn't help the process. Try not to do it this way. Okay, now he can't reach me. So I'm safe, he'll just flail away around there and I can tame away. This is especially handy for mobs that take a minute. Some of them do take a minute, corruption layer guys do, uh, and you can take a lot of damage in that time. Okay. Oh, you see how he still continued his little, um, that was the wrong button. his animation? After you tame them, oh, look at this guy. He's like, oh, give me the good stuff, man. Forget it. Uh, I think I'll dismiss him. You can see how that works. Dismiss, yes. Goodbye. Let's go. Ah. Uh, yeah, with the longer guys, you're going to take a lot of damage, even with a lot of healing potions, it gets very hard. And third mess, uh, method is that exploit I was telling you about in the early episode. If you aggro them, lead them to the edge of the water, and then get far enough away from the edge that can't reach you, then you can do it just like I was doing it on the on my little uh, ladder pole there. They can't reach you. You tame safely without taking any damage. They're, the mobs that run away from you when you attack them will still run away when you tame them. They won't actually aggro. They will flee. Uh, so you've got to chase them down. Keepers are easy. They're very quick to catch and they're not very fast. So, uh, leafies I'm talking about, sorry. Uh, keepers, on the other hand, are fast. They jump a lot. It's very hard to keep your your green X on them. Uh, so you really want to hem them in against water or something like that. Because uh, they take 30 seconds. If you get them trapped against some water, they'll do this little dance animation and tame them away. Now you don't have to enter to find out what their needs needs are. If you just highlight them for a second or so, they'll tell you in their little speech box. Look at this guy, he's filthy. Filthy. Uh, they do well with the dirty animation, that's for sure. So here's some I prepared. Oh they are. He's hungry. 
What's this? I tamed a night mob. Yes, you can tame night mobs. Because the mobs are indestructible, other mobs won't attack them. Uh, they won't, you know, die in any fashion. Once you tame a night mob, they're indestructible. They can hang around in the day without fear of damage. So we've got people who are hungry. And down here, see sparkles. That's because they're happy, they've been fed, they've been, well they've been washed, then fed, and now they want those tickles. So, I'll show you the washing. So each guy's got a different animation. Some like the wash, some don't. So you just point and hold it down. Once again, green X first, so it's not working. And he's clean. And then, so once you tickle them, they get dirty. So you wash them off. See, he's happy. He likes that. Next thing he'll ask for is food. That's the cycle. There's hunger. You feed them. They're happy. Give them a tickle. He's looking for a turnip sandwich. Yeah. He's got a mushroom. I'll see that. Uh, yeah, so they're hungry, then they're satisfied for a while, then they want the tickles. You just have to right click on your food and they'll automatically eat, by the way. Tickles will make them immediately dirty. Sorry, I thought there was a bad guy coming. <laughs> show you. So just point at him, hold it down, and give a little animation, and you'll get a drop, whatever it happens to be. I'm not sure if I gave him the cabbage for what the special one is. Uh, and oh, this will be good. Pixie droppings! See, I now am the proud owner of poop. Yes, so that will fertilize. And look, he's immediately dirty. Look, make sure I'm equipped. And green eggs. And we're done. So there we go. Food, tickles, then wash. Go so in a constant cycle. It's up to you basically. If you want to tame lots of pets, it'll save you trying to harvest materials. Or whether you just think this is a bit too much to bother with, basically. Okay, I'm sick of him following me around so he can stay now. That's it. That's it. Basics to take care of. Oh, sorry. I always forget about this because I think it's largely useless. People say the best way to tame, so I don't know the tame about, is the stun bomb. And I think that's sort of what the developers had in mind. The problem is, stun bombs only last for 10 seconds. Now this is fine, he only goes for 15 seconds. But you've got to spam them with bombs to keep them asleep long enough to tame. You can imagine that gets quite expensive. I've only got that many bombs. Oh, that's not bad. He only wants that. Stay. Uh, I've only got that many stun bombs because all the time I was doing all of this clearing out, uh, I got lots of keepers. <laughs> and they they gave me them. Like, basic keeper won't tend to. Basic keeper will give you a basic item and their arc stones. A silver keeper will give you a couple extra items generally of better quality sometimes and the golden keeper gives you the best items and the most items uh, and that's where I've gotten a lot of those bombs from is golden keepers but if you look at the recipe for them here we are gunpowder which you can only get from mobs or chests uh, that I've found cheesy gizzards and two of them, so that's killing a lot of chizzik wizards, or taming a lot of them, leather, no worries. But that, that's quite an expensive recipe. You think, if I was to tame some in the corruption layer, I'd need, well, at least six stun bombs. 
to, to keep him down long enough uh, in a hostile environment. It's your call, if you want to do it that way, go for it. If you feel like the um, ladder pole is an exploit or a cheat or whatever, knock yourself out. Uh, but that's taming and caring for pets 101. Okay, next time we'll do some farming. Catch you then. Thanks for watching.